I've been editing these videos and I've realized that I haven't been eating. I'm an idiot! So today I'm gonna bring a muesli bar for a snack because I will forget to eat otherwise. I am just about to jump on the bike and go to the shed so I can do my car. Um, today I'm just gonna mask off some things and start spraying primer. But we'll go over there, we'll have a squeeze and then I guess we will soon find out. <laughs> Um, just how I left it. Nowhere near done. <laughs> uh, so every time I come in here, I want to die a little bit more in sight. Cause, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some more sanding and I'll update you on what I'm going to do. Um, yes. The least I could have done was vlog it, but basically I managed to get the skirts off and I can prime the whole car tomorrow noon-ish. I think I would love to show you the process, but it's a very boring one. It's exhausting. When I'm watching it like back so I can edit it, it makes me want to die. I don't want to make you want to die as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just trying to preserve your life. Thank you me later. So like masking off this side of thing, I just kind of want to show you what I use. I use J-tape. Um, I actually just threw this um, painter's tape over it because I was sanding and I didn't want to... Um, I don't want to hurt the plastic. Um, under here is all taped, but um, let me just stand in the corners here and then I will show you what I do with this J-tape. This is J-tape. Um, it looks like there's a bunch on it. I think it's like only about like 10 meters. Um, so don't go ham with this shit. This is why I lay like normal tape first, to be honest. Um, but you don't have to lay normal tape on the edge. I only did that because I was sanding. Anyway, basically I'll show you. It comes with like a double edge moment. There's a couple different ways you can use it. I find the most effective way for like hard plastics um, is this way. I'll show you in a sec. I peel it like this. It has little sections that you just snap off. So you've got the two little plastic pieces here. I don't know if you can see that. And then I just fold it like this so I have extra strong. All right. I've only got one hand, but then I slide it in like that. Extra strong. You gotta wedge that shit in there. You gotta give them a good old wedge. Sometimes it's easier to do them in one, one piece, like um, little squares, but personally I like to do them in doubles. Anyway, so you push it in all the way into where the plastic is in there as far as it can go. You give them a cheeky tug and that pulls it back. Pulls it back just enough so you can get paint in there. It's, you know, it, obviously it's better to take out the whole window, but. <laughs> Like I was gonna do that and reseal it. Ain't no way, boy. Anyways, I'm gonna get to this and I'll uh, let you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just remembered something that you should know because I have like a little primer mark here on my plastic I can't get off. When you like, when you do the J tape, seal it with the green tape, like the painter's tape, because those little, those little guys there are gonna ruin your whole ass life. For real. So I've just bogged some little things on the car here and there. Stuff that I've remembered. A lot of things I'm sure I've forgotten because it wasn't that hard. <laughs> so I'm actually going to fix this now. This is not that deep. I don't care. It's going to happen again because I don't raise my car. I don't, I don't drive it like a monster truck. Um, if you ain't tucking, you ain't. Shh. Anyway, I'm just gonna fix gouges like this that you can see um, from the side. It's not very cash money. But those of you who've been around for a while will know that I've repaired this lip maybe six times. It just snapped in all sorts of places. Having your front lip fiberglass is probably not the best thing, but it is what it is. This is um, a bog crack from a while ago, so I might try and give that a little sandy sand. Um, It's gonna happen again. There's not really much I can do um, except like attempt to reinforce it, but I'm just gonna bog the, the um, stone chips and that big gout. So it's gotten really dark again. Um, so I guess what I'm gonna do is 
come back tomorrow because I can't see the shit, if I'm being honest. I'll come back tomorrow and lay the primer. At least everything's ready to go. I just have to wax and grease. Um, and I might need to scuff up a few spots. So it's like 10 degrees, so it's just not like ideal painting temperature, obviously. It's not going to be ideal painting temperature within the time frame that I need this done. Um, it needs to be done in a few days, so um, <laughs> yeah, I I'm not going to have too much of a choice with temperature, I guess. Um, but at least like tomorrow, it's going to be a couple degrees warmer anyway, and I'll be able to see. So I think that'll be better. I don't know. I kind of want to finish it as soon as I can, just in case I have an extra day or so to get it to the exhaust shop, so I can like, get some cool exhausts on it, because it looks stinky right now. Anyway, bye. Thank you.